just got back from scout camp and just sitting around and just listening to scout leaders talk and watching what they do, I got me thinking, what are those unwritten rules at scout camp that you should follow as a scout leader? So mine is the campfire circle. You put your chair there, you've got up to make a cup or a brew or something like that, and then another leader dives in and then doesn't get the hint to get out. So my rule is you never sit in another leader's chair. That's mine. If you're making a brew, you make it for the whole leader. Yes, not the scouts, <laughs> but you make it for all those leaders. So don't be rude and just make your own. Ask around the campfire circle and say, hey guys, I'm making a brew. Does anyone want one? No matter how many times you send an email, WhatsApp, text, send letters, even snail mail letters, there'll always be one parent that never reads those. And they'll always message you an hour before camp asking, what's the kit list? Are you driving us to camp? What time's drop off? What time's pick up? You know, there's always that one parent, isn't there? So if you don't turn off for planning meeting for camp, you're the one who's gonna get the worst role, the, the, the role that no other scout leader wants, normally cleaning out the toilet. So make sure you as a scout leader turn up for the meeting to plan the next camp. <laughs> Not that I've been involved in this one before, but if a scout leader leaves their phone unattended, be expected that you're gonna end up scrolling through about 300 selfies of random things. So be careful when you leave your phone on the side. First leader up in the morning on scout camp is the one that gets the fire going and puts the morning brew kettle on. Don't just sit there and wait for everyone else. Get the fire going, kettle on, just makes everyone happy. Believe me, no one will forget those mistakes that you do as a leader, particularly the camp leader. The one that's organized the camp and it'll be brought up in memories for years to come years and years believe me just like our mate dave who ran out of milk when we did a bush scout moot um in in november and i had to drive down into the village because we ran out of milk who runs out of milk on a leader's camp of all and also there was a scout leader who done the food shop online went to order 30 loaves of bread but in fact ordered 300 loaves of bread. Whoops. <laughs> and believe me, those bread jokes still come in to this very day. I can't think of any bread jokes off the top of my head. Should have planned this better. Great tip, don't talk to any leader unless they've had their morning coffee or tea. If you're struggling for campfire food, hot dogs, can't go wrong with those. If a leader's got a pokey stick for the fire, don't take it and put it on for kindling. <sighs> Just upset them. This one's a bit like leaving your phone on the side. If you nod off around campfire in your chair, expect to play Scout Buckaroo. How many things can you hook on to that leader before they wake up? Or if you're a bit like our friend Helen, hundreds of selfies of you fast asleep and a bit of dribble. <laughs> no matter how many times you go camping, years and years of camping, there's always something you will forget. Whether you're like my mate Ray, who forgot to bring the tent on the last one, or camping chair, that was the last one at freezer camp. There's always something you'll forget. Head torch, spare clothes, a hammer, tent pegs. Even if you have a checklist and you tick it all off, I guarantee you, you'll always forget something. Don't worry about it. Well, unless it's your tent, of course, like Ray. This is a brilliant tip, and I use this one at work, actually. We never say it's a quiet night at the hospital, because then it's not. Never during camp say, oh, weather's lovely, isn't it? Never say that. Never until the camp's done. <laughs> I don't know why this happens, but the smoke attractor. I've seen some videos where they've done scientific proof, isn't it? There's always a leader that sits around the campfire and the smoke goes in their eyes. They move to the other side. The smoke follows them. So if you're a smoke attractor, just sit still and just accept that you are the campfire smoke attractor. We need that song by the, what's that song? Smoke Gets In My Eyes. Can't remember who sings that. Who sings that? Comment below. Who's the artist that sings Smoke Gets In Your Eyes? All right, maybe not as bad as that. <laughs> We've been there on this one, and I'm sure you have as well. If you haven't, it's gonna happen on your next camp. Parent walks up half an hour late to collect their child and says, I'm sorry, and you just say, yeah, it's okay, don't worry, it's okay. Deep inside, you are cursing that parent like crazy. We've all been there, haven't we? And there's always that same parent that hasn't read the email about kit list, yeah? It's always that one. You are trying to blag badges at Scout Camp. Don't forget to get your GSL badges as well. Yes. 
loving this one. Don't ask people to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. So there are tasks we don't want to do, like normally cleaning out the toilet block at end of camp, but we've all got to do it, yeah? So if you're expecting your leader to do it, you should do it yourself as well. This one, reading this one, just chuckling to myself, you can always guarantee you've been on your feet all day, all evening, night, whatever. The moment you sit down, you'll get someone calling you. Okay, can you come and help me? The moment you sit down, someone's going to call your name. You're going to get a young person on camp who on their form says they're a vegan or a vegetarian. And at breakfast camp, they look over to the right or left, wherever they're sitting doesn't make a difference and they notice that their mate scout is tucking into a bit of bacon or nice sausage and you've got them the corn and the one that's meant to look like a sausage that's not and they take a, a sneaky bite and then they ask you for another sausage and you don't realize it you give them a sausage then the parent comes at the end of camp or during the week and says mark what was that uh, sausages that you gave to to my son daughter they loved it and you've got to kind of confess that actually you didn't know that they were taking the meat sausage. You're always going to get a young person like that. But what do you do? That's a bit of a dilemma. That's another one for another vlog, isn't it? Now, this is a brilliant written rule. As a scout leader, always bring duct tape or in this one, gorilla tape. This fixes everything. Ripped tents, um, shoes. If you've got a bliss on the back of your heel, this works really well. Duct tape, always bring it in your bag. It's not a rule, it's the law. And the last one, I love this one, is even if the campsite says toilet rolls will, will be there, always bring a few extra because you're guaranteed there won't be enough. Or some naughty scout will throw it down the toilet and block it up and you haven't got enough toilets. Uh, you haven't got enough toilet roll. So always bring a few toilet rolls for spares. Now, before I tell you my most important and last unwritten rule on scout camp, as a scout leader, just want to remind you, subscribe to Big Man in the Woods. Don't forget, click that notification bell. And I thank you very much from the bottom of my scouting heart. Because that means a lot to me. And it just helps me spread the love of Big Man in the Woods on YouTube. So, Mark, what is that final unwritten rule as scout leader on scout camp? And that is scout etiquette. I've done a vlog about it a while ago. But that is don't walk through the middle of someone's scout pitch. Some people put a board around it, whether that's bunting or, or rope sizal, and others just leave it open like me. But it's polite and courteously not to just walk straight through, even though you need to get through to the other side. What you do is do a you know, virtual ding dong, knock, 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 say it out loud and say, sorry guys, any chance I can just run through? And the scout leader will obviously say yes. But it's polite not to just walk straight through someone else's camp. So there we are, scout leaders. My unwritten rules of being a scout leader on the next scout camp. Follow those and you will be an amazing scout leader. I guarantee you. If I haven't mentioned any, put them down below. Share the love of those unwritten rules of being a scout leader on scout camp. And I'll see you next time here on Big Man of Woods. Happy camping.